Hola, and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. This is my husband's wall of fame. He has all kinds of trophies. If you want a story time, you'll have to let me know below in the comments. But right now he's gonna do a very small home project trying to get some bats hung up and get them out of our closet. That way he can just kind of grab them and go when it's time for him to go to softball. It's September and my hydrangeas are still blooming. Is that normal? Let me know below in the comments. We're leaving. We just left Lowe's. We're not gonna go here just yet, but this is the rental car. <laughs> There's a few errands that we wanna run before we go get my daughter from cheer. The project was one thing that we wanted to do. We went to Lowe's, which I didn't film cause I'm always filming in Lowe's. Hopefully they'll sponsor me one day. I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere. But Eagle Giant, I come here all the time too. So y'all can sponsor me as well. <laughs> At any rate, if you have not seen the video in regards of what happened to the new car, make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna attach that YouTube shorts. When I tell you a lot of people had a lot of opinions, big opinions, I'm just glad that I know who I am and whose I am because they really would make you question your life with some of those comments that they were sending. If you are new here, my name is Kim, K-Y-M, and I do videos pertaining to home life. So it's cooking, cleaning, DIYs, repairs, projects, all kinds of things, again, pertaining to home life. If that sounds like your jam, please do not forget to hit subscribe on your way out and also show the like button some love as well. Not sure if you have a WG Grinders in your city, but I'm making a grinder sub. They are so good. Don't be confusing it with the TikTok sandwiches because this is a for real grinder. This salad spread is what really makes it good. Even though I have mayonnaise in the dressing, I like to put extra mayo, well, Miracle Whip, actually. Argue with your mama about Dukes and whatever y'all use. I'm using Miracle Whip because it tastes really good. Okay, so we are gonna put this on here. Load it up. I didn't melt my cheese because I don't want my cheese melted. There she is in all of her beauty. Looks so good. It's the next day, and since I know you ladies love to see my husband, I wanted to make sure that I filmed everything he was doing in the garage with his project. Is this the final product, sir? So here is the final product. But now he wants to paint the wall. <laughs> Day three of getting my life together. I wanna to get these kitchen cabinets cleaned off because I don't remember if it's been one week or two weeks since the last time that I have wiped them down, but I'm cleaning them off with the yellow Mr. Clean disinfectant. You'll have to let me know below in the comments how often you clean off your cabinets. Let me know how you're doing below in the comments. Let me know what you're watching, what you're working on, what you're reading. I downloaded that Libby app on my phone quite a bit ago and I have so far read two books that were very good on that app. I love to read any book pertaining to like mystery, suspense, that sort of thing because it like keeps you on the edge of your seat. Who doesn't love a good storyline? Current pulls you in. I 
try to guide you out to come once. Just give me your all. Oh, we gotta let go. Glad that I took the opportunity to get these cabinets cleaned off because it's one less thing that I need to do tomorrow. Okay, so it's like two days later now. And if you have been here for a while, you may remember that I had a leak with my hot water tank. Well, now I'm finally getting the opportunity to get that all cleaned up. Oh, oh, oh. Anytime that you're gonna patch up an area or paint an area, you definitely wanna clean it off first. So I'm just cleaning this off with just water in this beautiful luxury looking rag. It's not really luxury looking, but anyway. <laughs> I also wanna vacuum just in case there's any dust particles anywhere because if you have been here, you know I live in a dust bucket. If you've never used this DAP dry decks, oh, that was a tongue twister. Anyway, know that it goes on pink and when it's dry, it is white. It's September, it's starting to cool down so much and when you cook food, I just don't like the smell of food in my clothes and that sort of thing. So my husband decided to get this magnetic screen door and put it on the door for where the garage and the door meet. That way I can open it up while I'm cooking. Um, we had a screen door in the garage of the previous home that we were in and it just was not a good situation. It was a real screen door. So we decided to get this because this is much easier and I'm sure y'all don't mind seeing him again. <laughs> he did mention it's easier to put the Velcro on before hanging it up just because it makes it more straight. And if I think he has a little bit of OCD, I'm gonna be real with you. Anytime you see things rearranged in my house, it's because he has rearranged them. I just do all the cleaning. Now y'all know we love when Simba comes to visit, but he, this time he just didn't want to leave. <laughs> and just like that, it started raining. I don't even know where this rain came from. The weatherman has not been on his game lately because this was not in the forecast. As you can see, the grass definitely needed the rain. Okay, so now it's like the next day, or maybe it's the same day, I can't quite remember, but I wanted to get these dishes taken care of. Let me explain something to you. How people do things in their house has nothing to do with you, and it's okay if people do things the way that they do it. When I cleaned these dishes off, I sprayed them with vinegar, white distilled vinegar. I also sprayed them with the Dawn Power Wash, and I used the Dawn Dish Soap to clean them. Please do not come at me in the comments talking about the dishes are not clean because A, you don't have to eat off of them and B, I'm sure my house is cleaner than most people's because I actually get on YouTube and clean. I'm not on here with my hair all done up, my makeup and you know, the outfits and all that great stuff. I'm, I enjoy cleaning and I'm actually cleaning. Another thing that I wanna point out is there are a lot of negative comments from that video from the car situation. I will never argue with any of you. The only thing that I may do if I'm feeling petty is read you. You don't want that, trust me. But I will never argue with anybody. I don't argue with anybody in my family. I don't argue with anyone in my personal life. It's all peace, love, and happiness over here. And you will never take me out of my mindset. So you can try anything you want. I'll just delete you and block you. So I'm just letting you know, I will delete you and block you. But thanks for watching, because I really do appreciate it.
If you follow me on TikTok, you know I cook all the time and right now I'm making teriyaki steak. I don't follow recipes, however, definitely look one up on Pinterest because it may surprise you. Some of those recipes are amazing. I go by taste. I have been cooking since I was 11 years old and I'm older. You don't need to know how old I am, stop asking, but I am, <laughs> I am older and I've been cooking. I have a lot of experience with cooking. On a lighter note, I'm on this healing journey of self-care, self-awareness, just like reflecting on life and how I can be a better person every single day. When I tell you it is definitely an adrenaline that you will tr you know, chase, it really, really is. There are so many different phases in life that you go through. One phase that I feel like I have been going through here for the past year is it's okay to be the villain in somebody's story. Like they'll never tell anyone why you're the villain. They'll just say, oh, they're just a horrible person and that's okay, I'm okay with that. I am a reformed people pleaser and when I tell you that is so liberating, oh my gosh, it puts the L, capital L in liberating. Real quick, the best way to conserve your green onions is to put them in a mason jar or a jar with water and put them in the refrigerator. Spend some time with yourself. Make sure that you are good and make sure you're pouring life into yourself on a daily basis. I forgot to show you all my food. So here is my half eaten plate of food. The only thing that I added here is some pico de gallo. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Day seven of this video, it's been about six or seven days for sure. At any rate, I wanna make sure that I get the baseboard painted. I already patched everything up and all that great stuff. So I need to get that sanded and painted. Um, the other thing that I wanna do is take care of my living room. It's dusty, okay? So I needed to clean this mirror and just wipe some things down here in the living room. Okay, so back to me mentioning the self-love and all that great stuff. Being aware and accepting yourself and having a healthy relationship with yourself is definitely important. It is your most powerful investment. You can't depend on people to lift you up. You can't depend on people to be your cheerleader. You have to be your biggest cheerleader because a lot of times people are haters, let's be real. So you have to make sure that you're pouring love into yourself. It also helps you love other people. I'm telling you what, I feel like my purpose in life is to just love on people and show them that there are kind humans out there. And now that I know that that's my purpose in life, I feel so much better. So again, spend some time with yourself, get to know yourself, know what your ticks are, know what makes you happy, know what your triggers are, stay away from the things that trigger you. It's okay not to sit at the same table as some people that you used to sit with. Sometimes we outgrow those people. Sometimes those people mean us no good. And a lot of times it takes so much time for us to realize that. I grew up in a situation where when I went to school, I was a minority and I got made fun of because my skin was too dark, my lips were too big, my nose was too big. And then other people felt like, oh, she's just really weird. No, I'm not weird, baby girl, I'm peculiar. That is what God says, okay? And I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And now that I'm comfortable in my own skin, I'm okay with that. But I did go through self-destructive stages in my life where I just tried to fit in and I did things to fit in. And now I look back at that like, wow, had I learned to love myself at an earlier age, I would have never gone through that. But at the same time, we all go through journeys for a reason. We all have a story and I have a crazy testimony. And if I actually took the time to tell you, you wouldn't even believe me. The sandpaper that I'm using to sand this down with is 220 grit. I put a piece of cardboard in front of it to try to collect some of the sand so there's not so much just kind of, you know, flowing around with all the other dust. <laughs> Here's a close up. Another thing that I realized is I was a very, very negative person and it took me to get sick and not be able to walk to realize, baby girl, you gotta dig yourself up out this darkness. Ain't nobody gonna dig you out and you can't sit here and constantly feel sorry for yourself. You need to get your life together. I started out saying affirmations like I am worthy, I am enough, but let me tell you, I have graduated, I still say those by the way, but I've graduated and now they're more meaningful and they are more fitting and you will learn as you say them, what is more meaningful and what is more fitting and what it is that you actually need to say other than I am worthy, I am enough, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. But let me tell you something, that's a great place to start. So why not start it? What exactly is it that you have to lose? Please somebody tell me, I need to know. In case you're wondering, it's just bright white paint for this. It's baseboard paint, furniture paint. It's something that you can use for your baseboards or your furniture. So it's Valspar and it works very well. I really hope this message that I have talked about today in regards of like self-care, self-awareness, that sort of thing meets the person that it's supposed to meet. 
The one thing that I wanted to do when I started this YouTube channel is to touch people. Even if it's one person, I have done my job. I just need you to know that you really are enough. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks of you. Who cares? It's not your business. Girl, stop dwelling on that. Think about positive things. The moment that something negative goes through your mind, think of something positive. As soon as I got the call about the car and how the car wash damaged the car, I immediately said, I am so thankful that my husband is safe. I'm so thankful my daughter was not in the car. And in the meantime, my husband was like, I'm thankful it wasn't you, Kim, because you would have had a panic attack. <laughs> and I would have, and that's okay. <laughs> Everybody handles trauma differently, you know what I mean? But you have to just go in everything knowing that everything that we go through in life, it's not permanent at all whatsoever. It's a season, it's a test. And eventually we are gonna get to that other side and be able to t have a testimony for somebody who may be going through something similar. Never ever be afraid to tell your story. Never let people shut you up because that is not how it's supposed to go, okay? I wanted to show you a recap of everything that I have gotten done. This candle is so beautiful and smells amazing and I don't even want to light it. Okay. Rest in peace to Rich Homie Kwan. I had him on TV, but all of that was wiped down. This was painted over here and wiped down as well as the stuff over here. So hot out. You don't have to worry about hand washing your car. Just go to the car wash, they say. Yeah, everything will be fine. Everything will be great, they say. You know that sign that they have that, you know, lets you know that anything that's damaged from the car wash will not be repaired by them and they're not responsible for? These are all custom dents from the car wash. So shout out to Blue Hippo Car Wash in Canal Winchester, Ohio for not shutting down the car wash after one person's car was damaged and then it resulted into all of this damage on a brand new car that only had 20 miles on it that was bought five days prior to taking it to the car wash. But you know what? Everything always works out in my favor and this situation is gonna be handled. Just be mindful every time you go to the car wash that this could happen. You know